we have seen how we can draw a square in turtle but let's say i wanted to draw something like this this is a rounded square notice all the corners here are a little bit rounded let's see how we can do this starting from the drawing of a square shown here in dotted lines now when we drew a square what we did was to go to a starting point and then draw four straight lines on the other hand the figure that we are after here doesn't have sharp corners in fact what we have is a combination of straight lines and partial circles so what we are going to do is that we'll start not all the way in the corner but somewhere in the middle again draw straight line but not to the corner but to somewhere in the middle at this point we will make a clockwise turn so that the turtle will turn turtle's head will change and the corner will get drawn and now once this is clear then we basically just repeat this keep going straight again again make a clockwise turn uh, you know and and so on and so forth now interestingly because these angles are on 90 degrees we are drawing exactly a quarter circle what that means is that this point here is in fact exactly the distance of the radius away from the corner and that is important because that way we know where exactly to start we can do this for different radii but the important point to note is that the path that we have chosen necessitates that we must draw a circle in a clockwise direction which means that the radius in the turtle command has to be negative now this is obviously not the only path you could do it differently but for this path chosen radius being negative is absolutely important or we can do this for different uh, radius circles uh, so for example 10 here or 30 here and so on and so forth let's just go back to our code a little bit and try to do this in a step by step manner notice when i drew a square i was going to minus 100 100 let's say i want to get a radius of say 30 so instead of going to minus 100 i'm going to like i said going to go to say minus 30 uh, minus 100 plus 30 100 and i'm going to put my pen pen down and i am going to again not go all the way to the corner so previously i was going to 100 and 100 here what i'll do is that i'll go to 100 minus 30 and 100 notice there's no change in the y direction uh, let's just do this step so when when I do this, I get just one line, but at this point, I go and make a very interesting, you know, uh, command, which is to say circle. Remember, my radius has to be negative. So I'm using minus 30 here and quarter circle. So I give 90 degrees. So if I do this, then I get notice my turtle has turned and exactly 90 degree downwards. Now I go and repeat this process. So I say instead of going all the way down to minus 100, I'll go to minus 100 plus 30 and again i will make a turn if i do this i get you know my figure is starting to form i just have to do the same thing once again so i copy this line once these two lines once again this time I do is that my y will remain minus 100 uh, you know on this line so y, y will remain minus 100 but x will be instead of 100 uh, so instead of minus 100 it will be minus 100 plus 30 uh, because i have to stop short of uh, minus 100 and then I take a turn again now when I do this I you know notice my picture starting to form I just need one more of this just do one more of this now this time around remember I have to stay on minus 100 because I'm on the leftmost side so x doesn't change for y I have to go to 100 say minus 30 and again I have to make the same exact turn and when I do this I get a complete circle complete uh, you know square with rounded corners being formed now of course you can fill this you can you know do lots of things with this what i want to show you is that instead of 30 let's say i wanted another radius so i just say maybe create a variable here and i just call it let's say corner equals to 30 basically wherever i've got a 30 i'm going to replace it with a corner so notice i have replaced my 30 with a variable called corner and wherever 30 appeared i've replaced that with a corner Pay attention to this line where I am giving, you know, the radius is negative. That's why I put t dot circle zero minus corner. If I did this code, I get a nice rounded circle. Let's say I wanted a different, you know, uh, let's say I make it sixty, so the corner is going to be a lot deeper. So notice now my square has indeed got corners which are much much more rounded. Now obviously this can be extended in many different ways still, but I hope you found this useful. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye bye.